Yes, hello and welcome again to McLean's TV with me, Adrian Logan. Delighted to say I'm joined now by Eddie Patterson, Glen Torn manager. We're at the Oval, the sun's shining, the pitch is in great shape. Eddie, the big kickoff not far away. You must be looking forward to it. I think everyone, everyone connecting with football is looking forward to Adrian. Players, management, coaching staff, supporters. Um, preparations are well underway. You know, several uh, games to go, but uh, the finalise with the preparations. And uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to it. We interviewed Stephen Beacom of the Belfast Telegraph a short time ago. He described you as akin to a miracle worker for what you did last year, the way you finished so high up the league, and of course the uh, the the ultimate, the cup final win for you. A oh, fantastic achievement for the lads, uh, and ultimately, you know, I'm, I'm probably the figurehead for the, for the club, but underneath that, uh, you have the coaching staff who were tremendous, the players who have given their all all season, and, and those two sets of people, you know, they, they, they complement what I try to do and, and without them it wouldn't have happened so uh, you know it's a big big uh, compliment to the coaching staff and to the players. Can you repeat that, can you replicate that this season whenever you look at a lot of the, the quality players that you have lost uh, during the summer? Well we, we have lost some quality, some uh, some excellent quality in Colin Nixon, Stephen Carson, Andy Waterworth and Sean Ward but we've had to cut our cloth accordingly and uh, it's well documented on, on the problems of the club at the moment but a credit has to go to the, the, the board and uh, they've taken that decision um, it's there to keep the club, club afloat and, and with a great asset in, in Paul McLean that's been achieved for, from last season and carrying into this season we have made some good additions to the, the, the squad um, in the likes of uh, Ryan O'Neill, Niall Henderson um, there's a few more younger, younger lads have come in there and, and basically what we are, we're a team for the future uh, we need the time to bed those lads in. Um, we, I think we've proven over the course of the, the number of months before the cup final and the cup final ultimately that, that the type of football that we want to produce for Glentorn Football Club and uh, I think the, the fans more so are pleased with that. It uh, culminated in us winning the Irish Cup which was a fantastic achievement, good for the fans. The club's been through an awful, awful lot last season and uh, hopefully that, that we're given that bit of time to let the new boys settle in. Um, bring younger lads up who, who need that wee bit more experience and we need a bit of patience from the fans to allow us to do that. Interesting you talk about the future, let's talk about the, maybe the recent past and the recent past certainly when it comes to Europe, Irish league clubs did well in Europe. I think of late, you know, you look at over the last couple of seasons, Irish league clubs are, are becoming tactically more aware in Europe and I think with the, the, the coaching courses that are ongoing at the moment and, and coaching staff are, are watching how the, the teams from England, particularly the, the preparation when you get teams from England coming over for pre-season and you, you put yourselves up against uh, that, that quality opposition and I think that stands as a good stead. More of those type of games are, are required throughout the course of pre-season. For me, Europe just comes that wee bit too early for us. The, the teams down south have a, a, a better advantage because they're, they're maybe nine, twelve games into their season. Um, but gradually, gradually we're, we're, we're getting there. We've proved it in the past at Cliftonville that, that you know, We've, we've won in Europe on, on two occasions, qualified for the second round on two occasions. Linfield have done it this season, the Glens have done it in the past. And it's just taken that wee bit more time. But I just feel that, that uh, Europe just comes too quickly for Irish League clubs. Eddie, I was going to make a point, I don't know what you think about this. You know, obviously uh, the local game, there'll be a big uh, press launch just a, but just a few days before kickoff. I don't feel there's enough done for it. I, I feel it could do an awful lot more to try and highlight the big kickoff of what is a good product. The Irish League is a good product. I think it's a fantastic product, and, and, and Sky Television have proved that. But uh, for me, I agree with you. Um, I still don't feel that there's enough fans out there. I feel that there is a change in command uh, concerning the Irish League programme. Um, it does change. Uh, there's a launch next week, as you say. And I have to agree with you 100%. I don't think there's been enough publicity about it uh, to, to market the brand that we can, that we can uh, sell out there. Now Linfield have uh, they did very well in Europe. They bought several players, including a few from here as well too. They clearly had a very dismal uh, season by their standards last season. They'll want to bounce back. Can they bounce back against Cliftonville? We all know experience in the past. Linfield don't have two bad seasons in a row, and then David's went out of his way to to bring in the quality players. Yeah, two from this club, um, but. Uh, he, he's every club is entitled to a bad season and um, they've had theirs last season I can't remember a period of time when, when Linfield have went two seasons three seasons in a row without producing the goods um, that will be our target this year Cliftonville they've done excellent against Celtic in both games home and away um, and they've continued on where they've left off last season um, hopefully that uh, we'll be uh, tugging on the coattails of, of both of them uh, it's, a, it's a big season for us we have a very very young squad probably one of the youngest squads in the league and probably now one of the lowest budgets in the league.
but uh, it's a big challenge for us. It's a challenge that we've, we've spoken about with the players, and uh, I've no doubts. You know, if, if we're going to win it, um, we'll have to finish above uh, the likes of Linfield and Glentorne, or the Linfield and Cliftonville this world. And of course, the new boys in, you know, Orange and Warren Point. Does that add a wee bit, uh, a wee bit of extra spring to the step whenever you're meeting new teams, new faces, new clubs? Well, you look at the, the, what what Dalna Mallard did to the league last year. It, it revitalised it. They were fantastic. Uh, Weddy Anderson produced uh, some great football uh, with his team, and produced some some excellent players. One that they've lost one to to Cliftonville. We were interested in ourselves, but um, no, I think it's it's a welcome it's a welcome boost. Uh, I think the the relegation promotion that that uh, it was introduced to the Irish League a while ago. It's uh, revamped things up. I think it's something that has to stay with the Irish League. What's your target for the season? Target for this season, obviously, you know, <laughs> you know, it's a big, big ask considering the, the players that have gone out. Um, the club have made inroads into to, um, making sure that they can deal with their, their budget uh, and the, the wage structure. Our target this season will be, hopefully, to consolidate a consolidated place in the top six. And the cup run, as it proved last year, was a, a very, very welcome boost for us. And if we can continue um, in that vein, it's been proved in the past. It's been torn, I think, in the, in the 80s, six cup finals in a row, six wins. So um, I'm not saying we're going to do that there, but it would be, uh, be something you know, to go with for in another cup run because uh, the league's going to be very, very difficult this year with the, the quality of, of both Linfield and uh, Cliftonville. You know, you were flying high last season as the plane got overhead here, so let's hope for a good season this season as well, Eddie. Thank you very much as always. Cheers, Logan. Thank you, you know.